Flash loans are hot right now because they've opened up a world of possibilities for blockchain developers and also cryptocurrency traders to borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency with zero money down. This is massive leverage that you can use for trading. And today I'm excited to announce that Flash loans just got easier because now you can do them without any coding. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do today in this video. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, uh, then I can show you how to do exactly that. All right, just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so a quick recap in case you're totally lost. Like, what is a flash loan? Well, that's where you can borrow, like, literally millions of dollars in cryptocurrency as long as you pay it back instantly. And you might say, oh, that's cool, but why does it even matter if I can borrow it if I have to pay it back immediately? Well, that's because the blockchain supports complex cryptocurrency transactions, which means basically you can borrow the money and then trade it and then pay it back all in the same transaction. And this opens up the door for all kinds of possibilities for trading, but the most prominent use case is arbitrage, and that's what we're going to focus on in this video. And that's where you take advantage of price discrepancies between different cryptocurrency exchanges. So let's say a cryptocurrency costs $100 on exchange A and then $101 on exchange B. Well, you can just buy it on exchange A and then sell it on exchange B. And the cool thing about flash loans is that you don't even have to own any of this cryptocurrency in order to perform this operation. And this all just got a lot easier because now you can just do it through an app without any coding. This app is Furu Combo. At least I hope I'm saying that right. And it allows you to leverage the power of decentralized finance with a click of a button. So basically, people talk about DeFi being like money Legos. Well, you can basically take all these Legos and plug them together with this application. So it gives you access to all these different decentralized finance protocols. And you can create these little combos. That's how it works. And normally this is the kind of thing that you would need to be a developer in order to do. But they've given you the power to do this, you know, inside the app. It's kind of like a drag and drop editor. So you can see they have some predefined recipes here like passive income. Let's click try that. And you can see a combo that's already set up for you. So basically it allows you to take Ethereum cryptocurrency and then instantly use Uniswap to convert it to DAI and then take the DAI and start earning passive income interest on Aave with their uh, high yield APY. So they have some pretty cool predefined combos out of the box, but you can also create your own custom ones. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do right now for flash loans. And then I'll clear out this predefined combo here. So I'll just click the trash can, all right? And then let's clear this out to zero, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is click the plus icon, and this is gonna show you all the different, you know, money Legos that you can use to create your combo, okay? So you can see uh, Ave has a flash loan here, all right? And then also there's two cryptocurrency exchanges, uh, Uniswap and then also KyberSwap. So this is Uniswap and then Kyber Network. So what we're gonna do is uh, take a flash loan out from Ave. Uh, swap it on Uniswap and then Arbit on KyberSwap and then pay the flash loan back, all right? So we'll click on flash loan for Aave, okay? And for now, let's just borrow, we'll say 10 ETH and then uh, we'll click set. And you'll see that it pops up, you know, a second block here. Well, that's paying the flash loan back. So you'll see that, you know, you get 10 ETH here, but then, you know, you have to uh, pay back 10 plus a small fee here, okay? So, uh, what I want to do now is also put in 10 Ether here because I think it's kind of a weird way the app works. Uh, this is this is money actually coming out of your wallet. We'll clear that out in a second. But I need that in order to do this next step, which is to swap on Uniswap, okay? So what we're going to do is borrow the ETH, and we'll say 100%, okay? Um, so let's just click set for now. We'll configure this, but let's drag it up here, okay? And then I'll clear this out to zero, because we don't want to actually use Ether from our wallet, we want to use the Ether from the flash loan. That's the whole idea, is that you can borrow 10 Ether with this flash loan without having to own 10 Ether, all right? And then you can take, you know, this borrowed money and use it as the input for this next trade on Uniswap. And so we'll edit this and we'll say, you know, 10 Ether. And we will choose a different cryptocurrency. Let's choose DAI. So this is a stable cryptocurrency whose price doesn't change, okay? And then uh, we'll get the return DAI amount. So it'll be about 2,400 DAI. We'll click set. And then we want to do one more action here. So after we've uh, so purchased DAI from Uniswap, we're going to sell DAI on KyberSwap. So we'll click swap token on this. All right. 
And then we'll just click, uh, we'll do the die amount here, die, all right? And then we'll do 100%. Once we have die, so 2409, and let's convert it to ether, all right? And then click that and click set, and then we'll move it back here. And then there we go. And so this gives you a visual understanding of how this works. So let's you know retrace our steps. So we don't need really any Ethereum in our wallet um, to, to perform this operation. We need a little bit to pay the gas fees because all the transactions on the Ethereum network require gas. Um, you know you have to pay to, to execute this operation. But uh, you don't need to have 10 Ether in order to swap it on these exchanges. That's where the flash loan comes into play. Okay. So we borrow 10 Ether and that becomes the input of Uniswap. All right. This is exchange A or exchange one. And then we get 2,409 die, uh, and then we swap that 2,409 die back to Ether on KyberSwap, okay, which is a different cryptocurrency exchange. That's how the ARB works. You buy here, sell here, and then you pay back the flash loan for a small fee. And if you're paying close attention, you'll see that, you know, the ETH that I get back from this trade right here is less than the ETH that I borrow. So I would actually lose money on this trade. So, you know, why would I want to do that? What's the catch? So the reason that trade fails is because there's no opportunity to perform a successful arbitrage right now. And so we need to wait for an arbitrage opportunity to happen before we can perform a successful flash loan arbitrage. So when does this typically happen? Well, when the price gets really volatile. So when you see like massive price movements in a really short amount of time, uh, that's when arbitrage opportunities typically happen because the exchange prices fall out of sync and then you can you know buy low on one and sell high on another. And in addition to, you know, coming up with a profitable arbitrage here, you know, like coming back with more ETH than when you started with, you also have to take into account of the fee, right? So uh, there's a 0.09% fee whenever you do a flash loan with Aave. And then you also have to factor in the gas fees that you pay whenever you execute the transaction on the Ethereum network. So why would you want to use this app, right? Well, if you know that a flash loan opportunity exists right now, like you see a discrepancy, then yeah, it's really easy to just put all this stuff together, click a button, and then it works. You know, otherwise you have to develop your own smart contracts and things like that, uh, and some way to trigger it in order to perform the flash loan as well. And if you want to do something like that, then this tool can actually be a really good starting point for just understanding how the whole process works, right? Sometimes it's easy to get lost in the flow of things, like if you're writing code on how to work with DeFi protocols and do arbitrages and flash loans to see like, you know, just where does the money come from? You know, what does it do when you borrow it? Like what's the input, what's the output? And, you know, this might even be a really good tool for just calculating uh, what's going to happen with your own smart contracts if you develop them side by side with an app like this. So how can you make this better? You know, how can you use this app more effectively? Well, if you have something that tells you that an arbitrage opportunity exists, then you can just, you know, plug into this app and hit go and go ahead and perform the arbitrage. Okay, so. Keep an eye out because my next video, I'm actually going to show you how to create a cryptocurrency price discovery bot that will uh, alert you whenever an arbitrage opportunity exists. So, you know, you can set up something like that and then have that telling you when the prices change and then you could just plug into this application and then perform an arbitrage that way. And that way you don't have to wait around manually seeing if the prices have fallen out of sync and if you can do the arbitrage inside this app. Now, this is a really great beginner tool for, you know, doing flash loans, just seeing how they work. And, you know, if you have an opportunity and you want to do one, then, you know, by all means, use this. But what's the best way to do flash loans? OK, so really, the best way is to actually write code that performs a flash loan and does the arbitrage because you have way more control over it and you can unlock the power of them to, you know, support all kinds of exchanges. Because, I mean, think about it, like, you know, everybody who's using this app is limited to two options, Uniswap and Kyber. So everyone who does this is going to just look at Uniswap and Kyber. But if you want to support, you know, dozens of different exchanges and also hundreds of different cryptocurrencies, you know, you can create nearly infinite number of combinations uh, to do arbitrage and flash loans by coding all this yourself because you can, you know, add support for any of these exchanges or any of these different cryptocurrencies. And so, yeah, if you want to get really good at flash loans, then you need some coding knowledge. But that's okay. That's exactly what I show you how to do on this channel. So smash the like button down below and subscribe so you can see more videos like this that will teach you how to become a blockchain developer so you can do these flash loans. And so if you want to go down that road, like how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my full-length tutorials there. You know, they're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, you know, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step 
from start to finish so that you know you can do your own flash loans, your cryptocurrency trading, build your own real world app. And there's even a bonus where I will show you how to do a real world flash loan step by step. Just head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So that's all I got. And until next time, thanks for watching Daph University.